Everybody's a suspect. Coming to get you, Barbara. Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about reboots and remakes. Now I got into some conversations with people on social media and even on YouTube as well about you know the surge in remakes and reboots and rehashes and whatever you want to call them coming out within Hollywood. I mean there's no, um, there's no hiding it. Hollywood are churning out a lot of reboots, remakes. Uh, reimaginations. You've got Halloween that got rebooted. Scream that's coming out in January. You know, there's just a lot of those types of movies that are coming out just now, and I do see a lot of people complaining about it because they're saying that Hollywood don't have any imagination anymore. And to a certain extent, that is true. But we also get really imaginative movies that are coming out in Hollywood that nobody wants to see. I guess this video is really about us saying that. It's not just Hollywood that's to blame for churning out all these reboots and remakes because we have to look at ourselves as well. Now I'm going to use The Last Night in Soho as a prime example. Now The Last Night in Soho, for those of you who have seen the movie, you will know that this is a, a really imaginative original movie. But this movie made $22 million at the worldwide box office. 22 million dollars. Now if you're a businessman in Hollywood and you see that an original movie that's great makes 22 million dollars worldwide and then you look at Halloween from 2018 as a prime example it's a good movie but it made 250 million dollars worldwide. Now if you're a businessman what are you going to do for your next project? Are you going to look up another reboot to try and bring out? For example The Exorcist? Or are you going to try and get an original script and get $22 million? It's a no-brainer. Would I rather see an original movie that's great or would I rather see another reboot? Well, to be honest, I'd rather see an original movie. I think an original movie means that you don't know what to expect and you could get some sequels after it that make lots of money. Who knows? But at the end of the day, I'd, I'd pick originality over money personally. But we have to remember as well, that's not our money. It's the businessman's money or the businesswoman's money at the end of the day. They're going to pick something that is going to make them the most profit. And the movies that make them the most profit is really down to the audience themselves. Now we can sit and complain about seeing reboots over and over again, but it's us that decide what we go and see at the cinema. I will go and see a reboot or a remake because it interests me. If we really want the tide to change, if we really want more original movies over reboots and remakes, then we are going to have to make the difference. We're going to have to make the change. When a reboot or a remake comes out, whether it's good or bad, we have to refuse to go and see it at the cinema. When an original movie comes out, we have to give it support. We have to go and see it at the cinema. But we all know that's not going to happen. I can sit and say to you guys, yeah, I support original projects. I'm not going to support reboots or remakes. But then we all know if another Halloween movie comes out or if another Friday the 13th movie comes out after all these years, we're going to go and see it at the cinema. It's just a no-brainer. So I wish we lived in a world where original ideas and remakes and reboots can, can exist. It can, but we just don't go and see the movie. How many of you have went to see The Last Night in Soho? Probably not a lot. I guess the real reason for this video is we can't always blame Hollywood or studios for churning out reboots and remakes. We have to look at ourselves as well. What do we want as an audience? And when we look at the box office figures, whether you or I want original movies or not, the majority, the vast majority of people are looking for reboots and remakes. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Do you want original movies over reboots or remakes? Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you want to see. Truly let me know what you want. If I'm being honest with myself, this is probably the easy answer. I want both. But some people don't want both. Some people just want reboots and remakes. Some people just want original movies. Leave your preference down below, guys. Let me know what you want. And then we can decide for ourselves who's at fault. Is it us? Is it Hollywood? Or is it both? As always, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.